Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the Dell PowerEdge R420. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. I just want to know a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R420 server. Do us a favor if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Now, this video will be specifically dedicated towards drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. We thought it'd be time for a good refresh on a old popular system. Uh, the Dell spec sheet nowadays is quite outdated. So we thought people might want to hear, hey, what actually works and what's actually compatible nowadays. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to talk about the types of compatible interfaces. We're going to go over the max speeds and the max sizes and the max sizes will be updated off of what is on Dell spec sheet. Then we're going to show you how to install, which is super easy because it's a hot swap drive. And then at the end, we're going to show you a cool tool that we like called HD Sentinel, which will show you the power on hours and the health score of your drives. Let's get going. All right. So what drives are compatible or what interfaces are compatible? I should say, well, you're going to have SATA hard drives, SAS hard drives, SATA solid state drives, and SAS solid state drives. No, unfortunately, NVMe is not compatible. This is an older 12th gen server. So those are gonna be the four interfaces that you're gonna be able to use. Now, what sizes can you use? Well, that depends on what type of chassis you have. If you have the eight bay small form factor chassis, or if you have the four bay large form factor chassis, the drives are gonna be very different as far as the max capacities you can get. So let's start with the small form factor chassis. The small form factor chassis, according to Dell, you can only put in one terabyte for a SATA hard drive and 2.4 terabytes for a SAS hard drive. And even worse, you can only put in 200 gigabyte or 200 gigabyte and 400 gigabyte for a SATA and a SAS solid state drive. So that is definitely very, very old information because you can put in much, much higher. So on the SATA hard drive side, we didn't uh, test quite as much, but we did put in two terabytes and they worked fine. We did confirm 2.4 terabytes on the SAS hard drive side, but we put in 7.68 terabytes for both SATA and SAS solid state drives, which is uh, quite the difference from 200 and 400 gigabyte is what you're seeing on Dell spec sheet. So yeah, that is definitely older information that isn't quite updated. So you can feel comfortable popping in a 7.68 terabyte into your 420. All right, so what about the large form factor drives? Well, according to Dell spec sheet, you can put in two terabytes for a SATA hard drive and three terabytes for a SAS hard drive. Again, pretty old information. We played around, we put in 22 terabytes per slot on a SATA hard drive and 20 on a SAS. And I'm sure down the line, something even bigger will work. So hey, if you've put in something larger, drop a comment down below. Everyone would love to hear it. All right, what about the speeds? Well, for the speeds for a SATA hard drive, you're gonna get 7.2K RPM. That's just pretty much what to expect for SATA in general. For SAS, you can get 7.2K, but you can also get 10K and 15K, which is gonna be much faster. Now I will note uh, for an older machine like this, um, a used SAS hard drive, uh, you need to be wary because they will fail over time. The ball bearings will wear out. I mean, they're spinning around uh, 10 to 15,000 times per minute. You're going to wear out those ball bearings and they will fail. So just know if your drive is three to five years old, you might want to keep a spare or it might just be time to replace it and grab a solid state drive. So, all right, what about the speeds for the solid state drives? Well, it's three gigabit per second for SATA and six for SAS. All right, now that we know a little bit more about the speeds and the sizes. Let's show you how to install them, which again is super easy because it's hot swap. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We're safe to work on our machine. So this is a pretty simple upgrade overall. I'm just gonna push the red circle for the two 500 gigs that we're gonna be removing. So we're just gonna pull this out. So you'll see here, this is an old Dell 500 gig SATA drive. Great drive back in the day, but we are trying to uh, breathe some new life into our R420. And in order to do that, we're going to put in some solid state drives. Wanted to show you guys when you go to our website, uh, we will have the 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch tray or the converter or adapter, however, however you would like to look at it. So if you do have the large form factor chassis and you are wanting to use uh, solid state drives, solid state drives are going to be 2.5 inch. So we will have this whole kit ready to order uh, on our store. So just check out our website to find that. But again, with this converter, it just slides in just like a normal drive and it'll just come right in and you click it into place. Um, if we were installing a drive, you'll see it's the exact same thing. I mean, it's bigger, of course, but it's just gonna slide in the same exact way. When you get to right here, you're just gonna push it in. 
and that's it. So that's how you would do it. It's a pretty simple uh, upgrade overall. It's definitely something I recommend is to add solid state drives to your R420 and this will definitely breathe new life into it and one of the best ways to increase the overall performance for an older machine like a 12th gen server. All right, now that we know a little bit more about the uh, drives and how to install them, let's show you how to test with HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.